Nobody wants a dull photo. But sometimes, when you sharpen your picture, it can start to look a little off. <laughs> but what if there was a way to take your dull photo and beautifully sharpen it without haloing? In this video, we're going to learn a powerful technique for sharpening your photos to make them look nice and crisp without those ugly halos. Let's get started. Today, we'll be working with this image, which you can find linked in the video description. To begin sharpening our photo, I'm going to come to our filters, then I'll scroll down, and I'm going to select the High Pass filter. The High Pass filter allows us to drag up the radius to reveal details in our photo. The higher we bring it up, the more areas that we see will become sharpened in our image. I'm going to bring the radius up quite high for this image for demonstration purposes, but normally you'd probably want your radius to be a little bit lower so that just a few areas will be sharpened. I'm also going to check on monochrome. This way, these colors peeking through won't end up being sharpened. We'll just be sharpening the dark parts and the light parts of our image. Now that we have the high pass filter set, I'll close out of this dialog box. And now I can change the blend mode. By changing the blend mode, we'll be able to reveal colors again. There are a few blend modes that you can use. You can use linear light, you can use soft light, and you can use overlay. Each of these blend modes create sort of a different effect. I'm going to go for linear light this time. And now I'm going to work on getting rid of that haloing. You can see some white haloing going around our subject, and you can also see some very harsh darkness. You can see the darkness even better right here on her neck, where we have a very harsh line. Before in the image, we didn't quite have that. So I want to fix this. We'll start by getting rid of this haloing. To do that, I'll select the high pass filter. Then I'm going to press on this gear icon to bring up the blend ranges. Bringing up the blend ranges allows us to change the blending of our layers. On this high pass layer, I don't want it to be applied so strongly to our highlights that we have this haloing occurring. I'm going to go to our source layer ranges because this is affecting the high pass filter layer. Then I'll go to the highlights node and as I bring this down, you'll be able to see that haloing disappearing. Here was how it was before and here's how it is once you bring it down. If you can still see some haloing, you can always bring it to the side a little bit as well. Now, to get rid of that harsh dark line, you can bring down the shadow node a little bit as well. I'll close out of this dialog box. And now we can see how our image looked before. And here it is with our sharpening. At this point, we can double click on our high pass filter. And because it's a live filter, we can adjust the radius. A good method for sharpening is to use a low radius, so just the fine details are being sharpened. Then, if you want more sharpness, you can always duplicate this layer by pressing Command or Control J. By duplicating, the sharpening of the very fine details, only the very fine details will be duplicated. This won't cause the entire photo to become sharpened, but just the original areas that were sharpened. If you want at this point, you can double click on your duplicated high pass filter and bring it up. Then if you want it applied to just certain areas in your image, we can invert this layer and then paint it on specific areas. 
I'll press Command or Control I to invert this layer. And with the layer being applied to nothing, I'll press B for my paintbrush. And then I'll paint in white. I'll press X to switch my colors. <laughs> and then I can paint in white over certain areas to sharpen them up. To show you a before and after, I'm going to select the background layer and duplicate it by pressing Command or Control J. On this bottom layer, I'll just uncheck our high pass filters. Now we have a background image with no filters and one with filters. As I uncheck this, you can see the haziness that we had before in our image. And here it is now with our sharpening and no haloing. Now that you've beautifully sharpened your photo, you might be wondering, what else can I do to improve my photo? Well, I've got an answer for you. You can check out this video over here to learn how to make your colors pop in your images. Once your colors are popping and your image is sharp, you'll be well on your way to making a photo masterpiece. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.